Hello, in this video, we will cover an overview of HTML. HTML, also called as Hypertext Markup Language, is a markup language used for creating web pages and web applications. Let's understand what is hypertext and what is a markup language. Hypertext over here means text within text. Text which has a link within it is a hypertext. That means if you click it, it takes you elsewhere. HTML is very easy and simple language. It facilitates the programmer to add graphics, video, sound to the web pages, which makes it more attractive and interactive. As it is a markup language, it provides a flexible way to design web pages. It specifies code for formatting both the layout and style within a text file. It uses human readable tags to define elements in a text file rather than typical programming syntax. This also makes it platform independent because it can be displayed on any platform like Windows, Linux, Mac, etc. Let's understand what is a tag. HTML tag begin with a less than character and end with a greater than character. A start tag has name inside angle brackets. End tag has a surname but with the preceding slash. Tags are coded HTML commands which indicate how web page should be formatted and displayed. Now let's understand what are elements. Elements are building block of an HTML file. Each element has an opening tag, closing tag and content in between. Elements are of two types. First are the container element. These are the ones which have tags in pairs, starting and closing tag. Example, this is a tag for a paragraph. Second is empty or void element. They require only the starting tag. Example, the tag to break paragraph or the tag to insert an image or a horizontal line. Now let's understand what are attributes. Attribute is the property setting of element. It is used inside the opening tag to specify additional information to tag such as size, width, etc. They are defined as name value pairs. Attribute value are enclosed in quotation marks either single or double. Let's look a bit at the history of HTML. Tim Berners-Lee posed HTML and its first formal version was released around 1991. It went through various revisions and now HTML version 5 is being used. In this course, we will study some features of earlier version as well as they are still supported by current browsers. Some common HTML editors are Notepad or Notepad++, Eclipse, Coffee Cup or Visual Studio. Any of these can be used to edit a HTML file which is usually written with extension .html. Every HTML document follows the following structure. It is enclosed within an HTML tag which identifies the document as HTML document. It has also an optional attribute to specify the language. Next is the head tag which contains the metadata which is the information about the web page and the instructions for browsers that is not directly visible on the page. The body contains your actual content which needs to be displayed. Thank you.